Hi, I'm Michelle, juror number one, and this is my Ponderosa. <laughs> you know, I, I didn't expect to be voted out tonight, or at least I, I hoped not. The thought crossed my mind as I realized fewer and fewer people were talking to me throughout the afternoon. I'm an introvert. I just love being alone. I love reading. I love reading my Bible. I haven't had a Bible for, you know, 20 some odd days. And uh, I'm also looking forward to eating and eating and eating and then sleeping in a comfortable bed where I'm not cold. Somebody hands me a Milky Way candy bar. Put a smile on my face. That was not going to leave for a while. It hasn't been there for a while, unfortunately. So uh, it's amazing what a little chocolate and caramel and nugget can do. Uh, walk in and they have a mirror. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't like seeing myself in the mirror. That was that was gross. I look tired. My face just looks different, which makes sense because I haven't slept for a very long time. <laughs> uh, there's a couple different veins running parallel to each other at Ponderosa. There's the part of me that needed to clean up and feel pretty again, and you know wants to, you want to feel clean and you've been so dirty and you know for 23 days you can't get the dirt from underneath your fingernails and you can't floss your teeth and so there was just like a necessity and like a desire to over pamper myself here so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> At the same time there's this like deep thought, there's this the quietness of Fiji and you know it's this beautiful peaceful you know, the sun rises and then you hear the, the little birds chirping and the like soft lap of the water on the beach. Like it's a very serene and um, maybe encouraging of like contemplation. So I have this like, you know, avenue of thought and refocus going on in my brain simultaneously. And then on the other hand, you know, the other, the other side of things, there's like, it's just fun. You know, I'm enjoying my time here. I'm wanting to talk and laugh and do exciting things. So there's kind of these, these three sections of just uh, Michelle time going on. What's up? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I'm sorry your game ended, oh. but I'm happy it's you tonight. Yeah, I, know, I, know. I love Michelle and it was awesome to have her here. Like, once I get in and she's just like, you want a beer? <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to wow. my <laughs> I'm glad Michelle was here because I know she's kind of a perfectionist and artsy and good with these puzzles and stuff like that. And um, I was like, will you, will you give me a haircut? This is all about you know, trust. <laughs> Tonight's decision is all about trust. We're going to shave the sides pretty dang short. Kind of a Euro mullet slash really long slash mohawk slash like hipster pompadour. Viking it's, we're kind status. of combining. Yeah, we're combining all the cool haircuts of the, of the day. Yes, and we're millennials. we are now inventing a new hairstyle. I think. <laughs> it looks good right now. <laughs> no, that looks awesome. It looks just like that picture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's excellent. Kick these shoes off. Oh my god, how are you doing? I can think, man. The Michelle Salon is open for round two. One thing that before we're done, I forget which side of the vote were you on when I got voted out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, uh, uh, I actually, uh, was, uh, I was totally, that, but they yeah, said they'd vote like, me like, out instead. Putting the towel over his head, like, uh, they said they were gonna vote me out, Michelle, I swear. Yeah. You were the biggest threat in the game, I had to. I just, oh god. I want champagne. Let's get some champagne. I want champagne. When I walked down the pier to come to Ponderosa, I saw Taylor and Chris and Michelle, and they were all very welcoming. They all gave me a hug and welcomed me to Ponderosa. And again, this is one of those experiences that you kind of want to have because you're like, I wonder what Ponderosa is all about. I said I was a photographer. Yeah. I'm actually an attorney. Oh, okay. It's interesting. Lawyers are liars. Yeah. Are you one too? <laughs> Shut up! Stop it! Hello! Ponderosa! <laughs>
Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hello. Thank Great you to see you again. Welcome. <laughs> there you go. I was greeted by two former uh, enemies of mine, Michelle and Taylor. And Taylor had a beer for me and a big smile. And Michelle was first to come out and, and give me a big hug. Uh, and was like, you know, we're, we're, this is a party atmosphere. You know, it's funny, like, Michelle was very in touch with her spirituality on the island. And we talked a lot about, she talked a lot about religion and her connection with Jesus. And then we come back to Ponderosa and she's like, want to do shots? <laughs> All right, cheers. cheers. Come on, Day 33. Day 33 is season 33. I just got voted out of Survivor, so doing shots was ideal. Okay, I said I was going to do this tonight, but so I'm not actually a lifestyle reporter. I wonder tonight. What I are like, you? I, not a lifestyle reporter. <laughs> uh, I did not go to NYU. You're an attorney. I work in finance. I went to Harvard. Shut up! Are no. you serious? Yeah. Um, and I'm not a missionary. I'm a prostitute. No, she's, <laughs> no, she's a prostitute. She is a stripper. She was dancing last night. Oh, yeah, dude. There's no missionaries oh, dancing yeah. like that. <laughs> First person I see is Michelle. Uh, run up and give me a hug. So, on the boat ride to Tribal Council last night, we all decided that we would come up with fake backstories and that we would tell them to the person coming out and be like, What were you? and pretend like everybody's lying, you must have lied too. Are you really our 18 year old kid? Oh, yeah. Seems everybody else. I know, everybody else. I heard Zeke, you went to Harvard. Uh, I did. Okay. Uh, where did you hear that from? Adam. Adam told me. But you, but you told him like you're in law enforcement and everything? No, I didn't tell him I worked for the FBI. You do? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a gay cop, but I am a gay FBI special agent. <laughs> I love you so much, man. <laughs> Okay, okay, Taylor. I play for the uh, Seattle Sounders soccer team. Okay, you do look like a soccer player. Yeah, professional soccer player. <laughs> Welcome oh. to Ponder. Thank you. We got beer ready for you. Oh, you got beer ready for you. Oh, my God. <laughs> what happened to my hair? It's like gray. Look at my face. When I first looked in the mirror, you know, I was a little horrified because first of all, what color was my hair? I have no idea. My hair looks great. Does it look gray? 25 pounds. I think it looks gray. I think there's almost like a hint of... Dirt? Hey. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what to get to hint. Ah! Bamboozled. Bamboozled, bro. You're at Ponderosa now. So now it's a new journey. Enjoy this new experience. I know, it blows, but it's all good. Yeah. Is this my bed? Forget it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is so epic. I'm back at Ponderosa. Like, look at this. I'm gonna sleep here. I'm not used to a bed. I'm gonna sleep next to this weird hole. <laughs> Just hole sleep here. <laughs> this is this is where I'm gonna sleep. Unbelievable. What's up? I told you I'd be here. I said, keep the beers rolling. I smell like now. Zeke, what's up, buddy? Brett came in. Brett's just a funny guy. He was happy to see us. We were happy to see him. Oh, nobody touched me. I'm disgusting. All right. Oh, you're not gross at all. I'm really gross. It was interesting. Survivor was really a challenge that kind of represented challenges in my life. Will you rise above it or not? Can you rise above it? Can you just stick it out? Yeah, when I was younger, I was um, the victim of an assault. And I was a victim without hope. I felt like life was never going to get better. I couldn't, I couldn't even fathom the idea, the possibility that it could get better. The search for purpose, every, everything I tried to like, um, grasp onto felt like it eluded me and it came to a point that I didn't care because <laughs> you, you, lose, you lose all hope. If I could give a message to other people going through dark times, going through what seems like hopeless times, I would encourage people to hang on and 
try their hardest to look outside themselves. You can respond, you know, in fear and live in fear, which I don't think is a good way to live. On the other hand, you can, you know, try your hardest to learn from trials and grow from trials and become stronger through trials and be a survivor.